Coming up next, possibly in my hands, the hottest fragrance release in at least a couple years in the niche fragrance world. It is lighting the world on fire in this niche industry. They cannot keep it on the shelves. It's hard to get. If you can find a bottle, grab it. It's going to be a blockbuster. Find out what it is and my opinions about it coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here from Osme Perfumery, of course, in the lovely Wynwood section of Miami, the kind of art, graffiti, trendy, cool part of Miami anyways. All right, this is a really cool video today because it's not very often that a new release comes out. And I just did a video um, actually, which will come out after this, where I talk about my five favorite uh, new perfumes right now. But this is a video that, excuse me, just making sure my camera is all focused there. All right, this is a video, I mean, sorry, this is a release that uh, usurps, tops everything else in the last, I gotta say at least three, maybe four years that I've seen. And talking to the owners here at Osme Perfumery, obviously experts in selling fragrances and trends in the industry, they only obviously gonna buy and sell things that people want. This fragrance came in, it's brand new, it just came out as part of this new, uh, I guess, Serpent series from Stefan Humbert Lucas. Without further ado, here it is, guys. Have you seen this yet? God of Fire. God of Fire is part of the new Serp Serpent series, which was based on, it's a kind of like a variation of the Mortal Skin fragrance that came out about maybe six or seven years ago from uh, Lucas. And that was such a big success that they've now spun off this kind of new series, the Serpent series. And you can see each of the bottles has that kind of really cool like serpent design somewhere on the bottle. Uh, let me get, show you another one. Just to give you, give you an example, here's another one. This is um, Venom Incarnate. Venom Incarnate. Take a look at that one. All right. Purpose of the video is to talk about this one. <clears throat> the hype is real, okay? I smelled this for the first time just in the last day. I've had the chance to wear it now a couple times. I'm gonna put it on my skin so you guys can see. It is going to be a juggernaut. This is going to be in the fragrance world probably for the next couple years, copied a lot. Uh, this is, people are gonna say, it, I, I can already see what people are gonna say initially. Uh, this is just another kind of uh, Herba Pura, uh, smell alike, not look alike. But for those of you who say that, I, I get the initial smell. So when you first smell it, it has a very kind of fruity smell of Herba Pura, it even has a similar color to the Herba Pura bottle. Um, let me just show, you know, for those of you who haven't seen the Herba Pura bottle before, most of you have, but it, you know, you can see similar color. But having said that, although Herba Pura is a wonderful fragrance, and we call it Herba Crack, jokingly here, uh, Maurice and Bavica, the owners, because people come in and they smell it and they buy it and it flies off the shelves. And it's been the number one seller probably in the store here for the last three or four years. It's a huge success. There's been a lot of copycats. This is something different. So you gotta go into this with an open mind because the hype on this one you talk to other retailers, you talk to people who are buying, the buyers, the distributors, and I've kind of spoken to them and to find out what's going on with the trends. This thing is hot. The different stores around the country here in the US are all trying to get their hands on this. They're buying up every piece of inventory they can to try to get this out to you guys. It's that hot. <laughs> there was one bottle left in the store today. It just got bought, actually. This is the, the tester. It, the last one just got bought, but they, don't worry. They just put in a big order. I can't say how many, but a big order. They basically got whatever they could. And it will be coming in very shortly here. So you can go to Osme, their website, or call them and find out when it's coming. But this is a fragrance, again, it's so unique at the top. It has notes of mango and lemon and red berries, which is, gives it that very fruity kind of tart, but it's not too sweet. And although it maybe lends a little bit feminine on top, 
you got to wait for the dry down. The dry down is where this thing is really magic and where it gets really, I got to say, it gets really um, <sighs> complex. It's not linear at all. Herba Pura to me gets more vanilla as it dries down and it, it, it's a wonderful fragrance, but it's a little bit more safe. This one's a little bit more complex. So if you like Herba Pura, but you want something that maybe goes a little bit more complex, a little bit different direction, this has heart notes of, of it's got woody notes, it's got uh, coumarin, uh, it's got jasmine, and then it goes into amber and agarwood, which for those of you who don't know, I'm sure most of you do, but agarwood is the uh, wood that oud comes from. So the oud is the resin that comes from agarwood. Wonderful, kind of very sensual, sexy, dry down that is extremely unisex, especially when it goes into the heart and bass notes. Also wonderful kind of musk. I would say it's almost like a white musk at the bottom. I love white musk. This fragrance, it's addicting. It's addicting and the hype is real and they're bracing here at the store for the hype. People are coming in, they're blind buying this. A lot of people, only true niche heads, not true niche heads, but not everyone blind buys. It's a risky proposition. This is a blind buy hit. People are blind buying this left and right from the store. Like I said, they can't keep it. They cannot keep it on the shelves. So if you get a chance, probably pull the trigger. You're not gonna be disappointed, especially if you even like Herba Pura remotely, like that kind of smell, but want something a little bit more complex in a really stinking cool bottle and design from this great, wonderful series you're gonna have to try God of Fire. Let me know, anyone out there, have you, anyone watching this, have you tried it yet? Do you own it yet? Have you smelled it yet? I wanna know your thoughts on it. Again, this is kind of like a first impression. I've just been wearing it for the last day. And so far, I love it. I will do a full review later, but I wanted to bring something to you to tell you about the hype on this because the hype is real, it's legit, and people are buying it. And sometimes, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, fragrance gets really hyped up when it gets released because of marketing or the buzz or whatever. And then it comes in and it's kind of a dud and people don't really like it. That's not the case here. The hype is real. People are talking about it. Distributors and stores are buying it up left and right to sell it. And the people that are getting it are loving it. So that's it. That all to me adds up to what's gonna be a huge success here. Anyways, I'll be back soon with another video, of course. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll be back eh, in the next day or two. Peace, love, and perfume.